drive slow. I got a call today, it's interesting. Looked at my phone and it said Ice. You remember Ice, former owner of the PWF? I answered the phone, I'm like, Ice, what's up, dude? He goes, hey, I got a couple other guys in the line with me. I go, okay, who's that? He goes, well, we got badass Andy Eichels and we got Mystical. I go, hey, guys, what's going on? We're okay, we we're just talking and we just wanted to know something. I go, sure, what's that? And they go, is, is the Trev st slow still hiding under his bed? I said, guys, it's been almost 20 years since I invited him to a PWF show and he went and hid under his bed instead. And they go, I know, but we don't think he ever came out from under his bed. I said, well, as far as I know, he never did. I think he's still under his bed now, hiding, you know, being afraid, being a scaredy cat, you know, doing typical Trev Slow stuff. And they go, he's that scared? I said, yes, gentlemen. He is that scared. So, Ice goes, you know, Hollywood, I think you may have beat up the Trevs a little too much growing up. I think you beat him up so bad that he's permanently scarred, permanently scared, afraid of his own shadow. He pees himself. He has tears rolling down his face every day since that time. And I said, well, yeah, he probably does. But I said, if you think about it, I took it easy on the Trevs though. He'd get the occasional sharpshooter. He'd get the occasional Hollywood stunner. He'd get the occasional Jer Bottom. He'd get the occasional Hollywood elbow. And yet, I I would let him wrestle again just to beat him again. I mean, if I really if I really wanted to wipe him out, I would have. Easily, like I always do. Matter of fact, when I was in Pendleton a few months ago, I had Trev Slow, you were in the sharpshooter tapping out something like... I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. You're doing that. It was sad. I even felt bad for you. Almost felt bad for you. Not quite. You deserved it. So everyone wants to know, Truslo, why are you still hiding under your bed? Why were you too afraid to show up to the PWF event? Ice, the former owner, was going to give you a title shot against me in your first match. He said you would have beat him with two arms tied behind your back, two legs tied behind your back, and your head tied behind your back. And I said, oh, yeah. And I would have done so easily. And he totally agreed. So then he goes, you know what? I bet the Trev Slow was listening to that no good stinky, rotten hyena, lion hyena, Jason Crow. And Crow told him, Hollywood Reinhardt is the greatest wrestler of all time. Crow could never beat me. Every time I got in the ring with Crow, I beat him immediately. Hollywood Stoner, Jer Bottom, Sharpshooter, J5. He was toast with it usually in about uh, 10, 15 seconds. And that was on a bad day. Sometimes it's faster than that. So, badass Andy Eichel goes, yep, Jason Crow was scared of you. He was scared of the degenerates. And the Trev so damn sure was scared of the degenerates. I said, you know, badass Andy Eichels, you and I, the Jarrister, we've been tag champs for 20 full years now. He said, damn right, best damn champs there ever was. I said, absolutely. And he said he offered to take on you and Ticey Sissy Foo Foo, the degenerates against the Fart Foundation for the tag titles, and you both hid under your bed. Yeah, you did. It was sad, and I'm, I'm ashamed. I thought you two were tougher than that. I thought you two would at least show up, but no, you two were crying, peeing yourselves, hiding under beds, hiding in closets, being your typical pukester selves. Sad. Sad, I don't know what to say anymore, Trevslow. People are still wondering, why are you still hiding? Why didn't you ever show up to the PWF? I invited you, but you're scared. Even the old OWF days, I invited you. In the old NWW days, I invited you. PWF, I invited you. Excuse me. Jason Crow invited you. Everyone invited you, and you're too scared to show up. Sad. Sad. Trust I, I expected better. We could have sold out the world, me beating on you, me making you tap out, me pitting you quickly. People would have watched around the world me destroy Jason Crow like I always did. I remember the time we went to the carnival. We had a little PWF match at the carnival. I said, Trust Low, will you come down to the carnival with us? A little PWF action. And you start crying. 
You're still under your bed, of course, honey. I can hear you cry said, Hollywood, I'm too much of a sissy la la for that. I said, you're right. Don't even know why I bothered asking. So then I went down to the carnival, saw Jason Crow, grabbed him, tossed him off the top of the big old slide, I threw him head first through the graviton, graviton, picked him up, threw him around, tossed him on the uh, carousel, threw him around the big old the house you can go away with the punchy bag stuff. Then I pinned him. One, two, three. Defended my PWF state title. The Degenerates made a tag title defense, easily defeating whoever. But Trump's low, you never showed up for PWF. You're scared, you're still scared. It makes me sad. But Trev Slow, as always, I do nothing but tell the truth. Ice told the truth. Badass told the truth. Mystical just told me. You know what Mystical told me? You're not going to believe this. Mystical's been in Oregon now for a little while. He said he saw the one of the EOs, the East Oregonian newspapers, and there's a big full page story on you. Man, hiding under bed, afraid of Hollywood Reinhardt to this day. Man. Trunsel, you made it. You made the EO, man. You're just a big old sissy la la. Like I said from the beginning, I'm the champ. Ain't never been beat. I beat you at your NASCAR 98. I beat you at NASCAR 03. I beat Tyson at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I beat Mar Tyson at Mario Kart Wii. I beat him at NCAA. I beat you at NCAA. I have never lost in the PWF. I have never lost at video games. I am the greatest of all time. Trev Slow, I hope you finally today dig up a little courage, get out from under your bed. Yes, sissy la la. Hollywood out! Because I am just too sweet!